making solution videos. Hello, my name is Clint Surrey and I'm one of the developers for WCLN working dominantly on Chemistry 12. To make video solutions for my course, time is an important factor. Good equipment makes the job easier. For making my videos, I'm using a PC laptop, though it really doesn't matter, PC or Mac, both are great. I also have an additional monitor because dual screens are very useful. I use an XP Pen Deco 3 tablet for me to write on. This helps give a more natural look and works very well and is relatively inexpensive at $130. It's larger than most others in this price point. I use a Blue Snowball Ice microphone. This is a very cost effective microphone at $67 and reasonably good quality. A quality microphone will increase the quality of your audio and greatly reduce editing time. I have my microphone attached to a mic stand to help bring the microphone closer to the source, my mouth. For software, I use a few things. I prepare my ideas on paper and then transfer them to a word processor, in this case Microsoft Word. I use WCLN's background, that's the blackboard background with our name at the bottom, and write in Microsoft OneNote, and OneNote's free for use. I use Camtasia to record and edit my video, and if I need to do a screen capture of an image or things like that, I use TechSmith's Snagit. It's a useful little program. There's lots of free versions out there, but I like the functionality of Snagit. So what's my process? I prefer to prepare a bit on paper, prepare the solution. I like to plan out my video a little bit. This very short bit of planning time helps me make good use of the screen I'm working with. Sometimes a solution might take up a fair bit of space, so if you've thought about it in advance, you're more likely to be able to fit it nicely on one screen. If not, rather than cramming it together, you'll have a much better idea if you need to make it take place over multiple screens. I set up my software as per the directions on the WCLN developers resource for video development. Generally, high quality video, 128-bit audio. Now, this next part is an optional piece, but I prefer doing it. I set up my video to record and write in in OneNote. It has no part in the video editing itself. It just is a platform for me to put in the background. That's that Blackboard piece we use. And it has a nice pen palette set that I can use. I can easily set up and I can maintain a copy of whatever I've made just for reference. I wouldn't actually use it again or edit it again after making the video. Because these are solution videos, I would just remake the video from scratch, but at least this way I can see the pieces I've done. In OneNote, I create a section for the course I'm working on and the unit. I create a page for each solution video. I put in the green background and then I right click on it and change it to become the background. This means that you can work over top of it without affecting it. I choose white as the font and pen color. And if it's relevant, I type in the question or I will Put an image of something I need to work on in there. Now that I have everything set up, my next goal is to open up Camtasia and hit the record button. It takes a couple seconds for it to load up and it gives you a countdown. I then go into OneNote to where I previously set everything up and I start to write out my solution. Camtasia will record what I'm writing and whatever I'm saying into the microphone. And when I'm done, I return to Camtasia where I can edit using the tools in Camtasia. Once I'm done, I can save this file as a video file and I can upload it to YouTube. And that's the quick version of how to complete your solution video.